So we've had a chance to see the beautiful venues that are here at Howe Farms and at Five Gables. Now we are inside another part of the beauty that is here. This Taline is one, just one yes. of the bridal suites and I would want to linger here a long time <laughs> if I were a bride. That's right, Julie. We love to pamper our brides and lighting is everything when you're getting ready. Uh, not only to make sure that you look, your makeup's perfect, spot on, but that you can also get those photography moments mm -hmm. and videography that come into the bridal suite. So, and we want them to feel pampered too. Yeah. You know, we want them to have cushy chairs and beautiful things around them and an area where they can be, uh, you know, not be seen by the groom. Right. <laughs> You've used some words when we've been here today about experience that's yes. come up a lot when you yes. talk about the vineyard as one of the locations in the venues that's an experience that yes. people have really the entire day is meant to be an experience Absolutely. and when women are dreaming of that wedding day this is part of the dream you are so right and the day goes so fast you know you plan for it forever and you just want to slow it down and enjoy every moment so I love when you, we were downstairs and she very quietly said would you like to see uh, the bridal suite and of course we were wowed yes. when we came in here and you very modestly said this is really kind of the starting point as your venues kind of get a little bit more grand yes the bridal suites accompany that yes well each venue has a certain amount of space in it. The chapel is more of an intimate sized wedding so we worked with the space we had here and it feels very roomy and spacious oh, for the It girls. is beautiful. I love the white. It's so yes. crisp and clean. Yes, well we've learned that from photographers. They say that white reflects the light so we try to keep things bright and airy. Um, do talk to me a little bit though about the different ones because yes. something that I learned too from you is that you have fun designing all yes. of these, these are your thumbprints. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of fun doing it and we didn't want any one venue to have the same vibe or feel. We wanted each one to feel like you were going to a separate, uh, maybe even a separate property altogether, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, people want to feel like this is special to them, unique right. to them. So we want each venue to have its own characteristics. Uh, you and I have been talking a little bit, and we've said this already, that the, the farm itself was your husband. Yes. And he just kind of is a hobby guy. Mm -hmm. So yes. he had all these manly hobbies. Yes. So the men are not overlooked here. You've got something no. called the bow tie club. That's right. We have the bow tie club. So each venue has a groom's like changing room, but then we have a special area devoted just to the guys. And it's got pool tables and games and all kinds of, and a bar area set up, things that they would enjoy to just kick back. But we want the groomsmen to be on site so that when it's time for pictures, they're not stuck in traffic somewhere, they're here on site, <laughs> you know, having fun. Yeah, yes. I think something that I thought was really endearing too is that, you know, you're a large uh, venue, you have multiple spots on the property, so it's not unlikely that there might be two or three weddings going That's on right. at the same time. Yes. So at the Bowtie Club, you could have three weddings taking place and three groomsmen sharing in the fun of the day. Yeah. They must enjoy yes, that. They do. It's it's a fun time. Hey, you know, you're getting married too. That's yeah. you know, it's a fun time for everybody. That's um, right. You do develop a lot of a relationship with your yes. clients. I'm sure many of them almost become friends over the course yes. of the engagement. So when the wedding day comes, they feel at home here. That's what you want them to feel, That's right? That's absolutely right. We give them, we try to hold their hand as much as possible through the process. We want this to be a fun, stress-free experience. I know a lot of times couples will come to us and they'll be feeling stressed about all the decisions to be made and they want it to be so perfect and how can they make that happen mm -hmm. and we really try to relieve all those anxieties that they you know because it, it needs to be fun so we have we also have something called our vendor list our, our preferred vendor list and it's got everything from makeup and hair to catering videographer everything that is wedding right. we cover it and so we can say hey you know oh you want this type of wedding well these this particular photographer has the mood or the vibe you're looking for. Right. I know we have said that you've recently celebrated your 1,000th 
wedding. Yes, this last weekend, yes. That is quite an accomplishment. So I know that each bride and groom bring to it their own personality. Absolutely. To the point that it's a busy place. While we were setting up, there was a bride with yes, her family yes, downstairs. Yes, we have a wedding today. <laughs> doing her final walkthrough. Um, and oh, she, yes, that one, yes. In a couple of weeks, her wedding will take place. And she I made a comment about her being so very calm. Yes. And she quickly pointed out that y'all have held her hand all the way through to make oh, this I love fun hearing for that. her. Good, good. Yeah. Well, that's what we like to do. We have a lot of fun and our team is amazing. So we, we're all multi-talented. They do, they each one do several things. Like somebody may be more uh, pay attention to details than another, to style. Uh, it's just, it's a fun process. Yeah, and you and I were chatting a little bit, um, again, about how this all happened with your wedding, yes. uh, with your husband, and now yes. you have adult children. I mean, That's you've, right. you've lived the journey. Yes. Uh, and so you learn along the way what it is to help somebody else be relaxed at a rather nervous time. Yeah, that's true. I think that has really helped us, you know, just preparing for my own wedding and designing a venue for my wedding. And then we've had several of our children get married here too and listening to their ideas about what they would like in a venue. And we always like to listen to our couples. They always give us good feedback as well, but well, it's a lot of fun. I know that you're typically not here on the day of the wedding, and I can understand yes. why, because you want folks to have their, their privacy yes, and their absolutely. moment. But it sure would be fun to be a fly on the wall oh, in this room. That's why we love the photos that come through. We just live for those photos. Well, we cannot thank you enough for yes. the tour well, this thank morning you. and for letting us share in your talents that this is artistry here. Well, thank you, Julie. Thank you for coming out. It's an honor. If you would like to learn more, the easiest thing truly is to go to their website at How Farms. Uh, there on your screen, but follow her on Instagram because yes. she does these interviews with the vendors so that you can have a chance to kind of get to hear from them and uh, hear from her about what it really is like when you're experiencing the most important day of your life uh, with your wedding. Thank you, Julie. Thank you.